Literary Lapses by Stephen Leacock is a collection of short stories and essays that showcase the author's wit, humor, and keen observation of human nature. Published in 1910, the work is a testament to Leacock's ability to blend satire, irony, and comedic timing to comment on the absurdities of everyday life. Each piece in the collection stands alone, yet together they paint a vivid picture of the social and cultural milieu of early 20th century Canada and beyond. Leacock's humor is characterized by its subtlety and sophistication. He often employs a gentle, mocking tone that pokes fun at the pretensions and follies of people without descending into cruelty. This approach is evident in stories like My Financial Career, where the protagonist's anxiety and bumbling attempts to navigate the world of banking highlight the universal fear of financial institutions. The humor arises not just from the character's actions but from Leacock's ability to capture the minutiae of human behavior with precision. Another notable aspect of literary lapses is Leacock's use of exaggeration and absurdity to critique societal norms. In How to Make a Million Dollars, he lampoons the get-rich-quick mentality by presenting ludicrously impractical advice, thus underscoring the irrationality of such dreams. Similarly, Society Chit Chat parodies the trivialities of high society conversations, revealing the emptiness behind the facade of sophistication. Through these exaggerated scenarios, Leacock encourages readers to question the values and priorities of their own lives. Leacock's linguistic dexterity is another key element of his storytelling. His writing is marked by a fluid, conversational style that draws readers in and keeps them engaged. He often employs clever wordplay and puns, which add a layer of complexity to the humor. In Self-Made Men, for instance, he plays with the double meaning of self-made to explore both the literal and figurative aspects of the term. This linguistic creativity not only entertains but also invites readers to think more deeply about the subject matter. The characters in Literary Lapses are often exaggerated caricatures, yet they remain relatable because they embody universal traits and tendencies. Leacock's ability to create memorable characters with just a few death strokes is particularly impressive. Whether it's the overly cautious banker, the self-important society matron, or the bumbling amateur detective, each character serves as a mirror reflecting the quirks and contradictions of humanity. This approach allows readers to see themselves in these exaggerated figures, fostering a sense of connection and empathy. Leacock also excels in the art of the unexpected twist. Many stories in literary lapses end with a surprising or ironic turn that subverts readers' expectations. This technique not only enhances the comedic effect but also reinforces the underlying themes of the stories. In The Awful Fate of Melpomenus Jones, the protagonist's inability to say goodbye leads to a hilariously tragic conclusion, illustrating the perils of excessive politeness. Such twists underscore the unpredictability of life and the often absurd consequences of seemingly minor actions. While humor is the primary vehicle for Leacock's commentary, there is also a poignant undercurrent to many of his stories. Beneath the laughter lies a recognition of human frailty and the often unfulfilled desire for connection and understanding. In The Conjurer's Revenge, the magician's trickery exposes the audience's gullibility, but it also hints at the deeper human need to believe in something greater than ourselves. This blend of humor and pathos gives Leacock's work a timeless quality, resonating with readers across different eras and cultures. In Literary Lapses, Stephen Leacock demonstrates his mastery of comedic writing while offering incisive observations about the human condition. His ability to weave humor, irony, and social critique into compelling narratives ensures that the collection remains as relevant and enjoyable today as it was over a century ago. Through his keen insights and enduring wit, 
Leacock invites readers to laugh at the absurdities of life while also reflecting on their own experiences and behaviors.